Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Ready Steady Mom. So today's video is an Indian grocery haul video. I have already shown you in my previous video of my recent trip to the Indian store, grocery store. And this is all this is all the stuff that I got from there. And it is quite a lot. That's why I didn't show you on the kitchen counter. And I've, all of this is displayed on the floor right now. So the place where I live, I don't get that much Indian stuff. I mean, not not that easily. So I have to go to these stores like once in three or four weeks. So not wasting any time further. Let's get started with the haul and see what I got from there. So first of all, I'll start with the veggies, the Indian veggies that I got. So first of all, it is a long squash, which is loki and some green bell pepper and some tendora then I got some cilantro which is dhania I'm going to make some green chutney and the rest I'm going to use in my recipes and this is fenugreek leaves or methi which I'm going to use in my methi paratha and my alu gobi alu, me, alu methi ki sabzi I'm sorry I got this box of spinach which I'm going to use in so many recipes and I like this box because the, the uh, spinach is already washed and clean so you don't have to worry a lot then I got this ginger I got a lot of ginger because I use it in almost all my recipes and in my ginger tea a tea without ginger is a big no-no in our house then there is baby carrots these are already peeled I, I give it as a snack to my daughter and some garlic these mini cucumbers for my salad and the curry leaves for my South Indian cuisines I love South Indian food a lot and I use curry leaves in that and I keep this bag just like that in my refrigerator and by that my leaves don't get um, bad for and I can store them for long and then some green chilies uh, I usually wash them and uh, clean them dry them and then remove all the stems from it and store it in a glass container in my refrigerator and you can also use kitchen towel there uh, and by that you can store them for even three to four weeks easily and don't throw these stems you can use them to make yogurt without any starter you can set your yogurt by these stems if you want to know how then let me know in the comment section below so that I can make a video on that next thing I got is these green beans which I'm going to use in my veggie recipes and in my biryani or fried rice uh, now coming to the frozen uh, veggies which I got first of all is this dry diced green mango which I'm going to use in my uh, chutneys and other recipes and these frozen uh, veg so these frozen veggies comes handy when you're not prepared of what to cook like uh, this is green peas which I got and some bindi just got okra so these are good when you have to prepare for your lunch in the morning for your office then this summer mix for my summer these peas and carrots coconut this shredded coconut which I'm going to use for, to make my coconut chutney next this Herbie, that is taro roots then I got this cauliflower which I'm so coming to dairy I get got this this paneer uh, this Indian cottage cheese which I don't get easily here in downtown then yogurt cheese spread cream cheese also I cut my lentils from there so I cut moong dal chana dal and this 
masoor dal and urad dal. Rest of the dals are at home, so I don't have to worry. And for masalas, I got turmeric and a joint that is carom seeds. And these funnel candies, uh, these I got, it's my husband who wanted. And some broken cashews for my curries. And this roasted vermicelli. And the rice, and this is dal popper which I got. Some suji rusk. And these biscuits, uh, good day and classic cream cheese, classic cream biscuit. And these remind me of my childhood. I used to eat them a lot. And let me know in, in the comment section below that what were your childhood uh, favorites when uh, you were kids and you enjoyed the, those a lot. And some Indian namkeen for tea time. This Kolkata water. We miss Indian Kolkata's chart items a lot here in Canada. And some Sichuan and Manchurian noodles. And this chow mein instant noodles. I got these because these are eggless. And a bag of basmati rice. I have flour at home so I didn't get one. And my light ray bread. I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, you can say ray ray. I don't know. Uh, so I got this one because I don't like brown bread and the uh, flavor of white bread is not that good here either. And also it is not healthy. I miss the Indian bread so much. I think that the flavor is not the same as in, in back in India. And if you are in this in Canada, just let me know uh, if you missed that Indian bread flavor. So that's all for the video today. And I hope you enjoyed the video. So please like and subscribe to my channel because this is new. This is a new channel and it requires a lot of support from you guys. Also hit on to the bell icon so that you don't never miss any future videos. Thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you soon in my next video. Thank you so much.